Hey Colt fans, welcome to Topic Tuesday. My name is Justin Baldini, Director of Marketing for Colt, and this week what we're gonna talk about is how to reverse the safety selector and your Colt rifle. Let's check it out. All right guys, let's talk about that safety selector a little bit. The reversible single-sided safety selector that's in most Colts is actually, you can actually remove it and turn around and put it on the other side. Now, why would you wanna do that? Well, let's say you're one of the 10% of people who's left-handed, or Maybe you're right-handed, but you shoot left-handed. I actually happen to be the other way around. I'm left-handed, but I shoot right-handed, so wouldn't apply to me. This modification also can be used to swap an ambidextrous safety selector that you might find on a Colt, let's say, SOCOM model, because it's not just our single-sided safety selectors that are actually reversible. Actually, the ambidextrous ones are reversible too. Now, why would you wanna do that? The longer lever that's normally on the left-hand side, you can put that on the right-hand side and have the short lever on the left-hand side. So uh, bear all that in mind, and now we're gonna dig into it and show you how it's done. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually remove the pistol grip in order to take out the safety selector. This happens to be a Magpul pistol grip. They use a uh, hex screw on theirs, which actually makes it a little bit more convenient because you don't have to stick a flat blade screwdriver down there and try to make sure it doesn't slip off the, uh, the screw. Now, after you've got that screw out, when you actually go to take off the pistol grip, be careful not to lose the spring and the detent that are underneath it. That's the spring and the detent that are in the pistol grip holding in the safety selector uh, are going to want to fall out once you get this pistol grip off. So I kind of got it uh, held on there. Yeah, perfect. So we're going to just take that spring out. We don't want to lose that. Set the pistol grip aside, and then we'll just tap that once or twice to get that detent out. There we go. Right there. So now in order to slip the safety selector out while the fire control group is still in place, the hammer needs to be set back. Now I gotta tell you, this is one of those operations where probably about 80% of the time it'll work and you'll be able to slip it out, and about 20% of the time you won't. Let's see if this one comes out. Uh, it's close. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a little trick here is actually you can push down on the back of the trigger. Yeah, I got it, in order to slip it out. Now you can see on the safety selector, the two channels that are cut. You've got one cut on both the left side and on the right side. Normally it would only be the far side away from the lever that would actually engage the detent and the spring. But again, these are reversible, so you're gonna see both of them. Now again, with the hammer back, what I'm gonna do is take this safety selector and I'm gonna insert it into the other side. Um, again, there's a little bit of trickery. Actually, this one feels like it's gonna go in. Um, as it slips by the trigger group, um, again, if it doesn't really wanna go by, you can actually push on the back of it just a little bit if you have to. All right, so we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna go ahead and put the pistol grip back on. First thing we're gonna do is drop that detent into the lower receiver. Make sure that's sat in there pretty good. We're gonna take our pistol grip and actually take the spring and put it into the pistol grip. Uh, that's the way I like to do these. And then just hold it over it until you're onto the lower receiver. Um, sometimes they're a little tight, uh, it kind of depends. Make sure that spring is lined up with that detent. You should be able to see it from the bottom. And this is what I mean by making sure that spring's lined up. Make sure that spring's vertical. It hasn't bent off to the side or anything like that. You can see the detent in the lower receiver and the spring sitting right on top of it. So from here, we're just gonna put in our pistol grip screw and tighten it up. So there you go, we're just gonna check this, make sure that detent is moving freely, it's snapping into place, and uh, that's it. So there you have it, Colt fans. That's how you reverse the safety selector in your Colt rifle if it's equipped with one. Make sure you leave us some comments below, give us some more ideas for next week's Topic Tuesday. Thank you.